Today on the Justice Court, the plaintiff, David Goyet, is suing his friend, Ichizona, for the sum of 185,000 Naira on paid loan. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. This case is between David Goyet and Agbanuji Ichezo. That is one. Thank you. David. I don't know. It's not the defendant of court. And your claim is for 185,000 naira. Yes, ma'am. So explain to me. Tell us what's going on. This man is my friend, but I call him before because of what he done for me. I borrowed him 35,000, which is last year in November. He's promised me that he's going to pay me back December or January. When we reach December, he now complained for me. Then we have a Joe that we are doing, and I introduce him inside the Ajo. Say, bro, see you. we have been doing- the contribution. Yes. Okay. So we have Ajo, I, I introduced me inside the Ajo. So you see, see Ajo, where you can do so that you can able to refund my money for me. He said, okay, how much are we doing? I said, 15,000. We are seven, but the other person has left. So we remain six. If you enter, we will continue with that seven. He said, okay, he enter. We start the January on. The first person take the January. I'm just supposed to take the second person, which is February. So when he come back, after he don't pay the January on, he come back and told me that, ah, you can't continue this Ajo. I said, ah, but you know the rules of this Ajo. When you start, you must complete it. When you withdraw, you lose the one you, you pay. I said, ah, you don't have anything to continue this thing. I said, okay, let's do this thing between me and you, because this thing, I don't want others to know that you said you can't continue it again. I'm the one introducing you inside this thing. Next time, if you withdraw, next time, if I'm going to bring somebody, they won't accept for me again. So, okay, I will continue paying it for you between my own and your own. You see, okay. You now still complain for me that you have an issue pertaining to your house, this thing. So I'm the one to take February. So okay, when the February is, I should leave that one for him so that he can take the February, then we will continue. Let me get it right. That February, ordinarily, is your money too. Yes, I want to, I can take it the February. He first took 35,000 Naira from you. He has not paid. He has not paid. Then the Ajo money, that's the monthly contribution you were having with yes. six other people. Yes. Instead of having one, you are paying for him and yourself. Yes. So you now ask him to take that one too. Yes. Okay. So he take the February, which I'm supposed to take the that a job for February. He now take it. When he take it, he says he's going to pay for your house issue. I say, okay. I will continue for you, but he promised me that he will refund my money back for me. I say, okay. We, I continue it from that February to... June. He promised that he have an engine that his ogre gave him. He wanted to sell the engine. So every day I will continue asking him, asking him. At the end, I will continue that, okay, I will withdraw this thing. But I look at if I withdraw, I'm going to lose also what I pay for him also. So that's how I continue. Every day you continue to, uh, telling me this issue, this one, this, this. So one day I'm passing, I saw him inside a restaurant where they sell food. I see an expensive restaurant. I look at that. Even me that I'm working, I'm not even go to the restaurant and eat food there and deposit money for you and you too now. You are going to a restaurant and eat food there. So when I saw him at the restaurant, I drop a bike, I go and jack him there. That's where uh, my girl called me was there. He said, we'll settle this uh, case was That's why we'll take, come here. So, 
I want you to respond. Everything we talk is true. I know we we'll lie. Now my good friend, we don't know for long. So when I get a problem with my wife, issue. So I come here on me time. Cut last, I beg me help me. Say my wife the hospital. Say he call help me call borrow me at five thousand. So I promise I will give him back for during the time of that COVID nineteen. So everything just rough somehow. So I call tell and say I have a problem. I beg me no verse. Say I the walk around to pay a guy money. He call say no wala. Say get a job where they do. Say that a job. Say now fifteen fifteen thousand every month. So I call and say okay. Say I will be interested to say that I will fee join them. Fee pay your balance while they hold you. So he call agree. So he call put me through. So he call tell me say if I stop. Say the one when I don't pay before, I know we'll see and collect. So we hope, say, we are the work, the work will continue like that. So when I come, when I come join the work later, the yajo, so I can't get issue with the work. So now I come meet him as a friend. I call and say, that work where I get, I don't get problem. Oh. This yajo, I know we'll continue again. He can tell me, say, no. Say, once I stop, that one, well, that first one I don't pay. Say, I know go. We'll Collect them. So you can tell me, say, okay, see what you will do. Who could plan them? You will continue to repay my own and your own. Then when the time reach, so I can collect that my 15,000. Then you go collect money. So by that time, I get a house problem also. So I can't tell and say, see the reason why they tell you, I know we fit. So I get a house issue problem. I beg. You suppose collect February, I say, just give them to me. I make I fit solve my house issue. So I my family first. So he calls okay. He call agree. He call give me the money. So when he don't give me the money, so he gets NG where they give me. The more while they follow work, we go change it for light bulb. So light bulb cause they go buy that NG. So I call okay. If they go buy that NG, we there I will feel raise money, give them half first, so make it man half. So we'll be the NG. They never sell them. Even at the way they go to the mash shop, they never sell them. So this man continue to the, draw me the money. At last, I can wait first, say, I run around to make sure, say, I give him the money first because I know he's try for me. So he will continue to the, call me for phone, they disturb me. Sometimes I know we won't pick him because I know he's not disturbing you. He has the right to, to ask for his money. He's no. not disturbing. If he doesn't want, if he don't want you to call him again, just pay him his money and let him go. He's not disturbing you. What else do you expect him to do? He has to call you to demand for his money. So, he get where they go chop. I carry person go there. Somebody meet me, tell me, say, where did they sell better food? Now I call carry and go the place where they sell food. So now the person comes to make I sit down and chop. Now I'm all, now the person buy from you. This man just come from nowhere. Go ever attack me with the food. I say, you know my place now. Why you go now? Yeah, you want to embarrass me for where they even they chop amala. Which kind of thing you don't want? He say no. So I go give him money for here or two two of us go die. So I say no, Oga. You they call me quite right. I never get your money. And I promise you, say I go raise the money for you. He say no. Say I must give him the money for that place where they chop. So now there people come gather us. Okay. So now. The bottom line is you are owing him one hundred and eighty-five thousand. Yes, <clears throat> How do you want to pay him, and when do you want to start? I told him before that I just start a work now, which is I'm going to collect my salary by uh, this uh, August. That is first week of August or second week. So I'll be giving out ten ten thousand. How much? Ten ten, because they are paying me forty thousand. So I think that I will be paying, giving him ten thousand for side the money. Is that acceptable to you? And this this man, see what I use as a phone. I work. But this phone, I sell my phone because of this man. This phone, like this now, I put this one in my pocket now. This one is already off now. Because I have a phone problem. But this man will be doing me somehow, somehow like this. I carry this man, he's like my brother. I don't even take him as friend. He's my brother. I take him. 
I sell my phone because of this man. When I sell my phone, I have a problem at village also. I continue dissolving me. At times, when they, this phone off, they will think that I just off the phone purposely because I don't want to pick their call. But they don't know what I'm facing here. I work. I don't enjoy my money. Somebody is enjoying it. I didn't think I'm not working. Mm. Is mm. different. Mm. Mm. Don't look at it that way. The first 35,000 you gave him, I'm in fully support of that. But the other money you gave him is stupidity. The first one is perfect. A friend in need is a friend indeed. You gave him a 35,000 naira. Now, he has not paid that 10 kobo. He has not repaid you out of that 35,000 naira. You now took a bigger amount of money. You threw it out again. You should be talking about 35,000 naira now. And immediately said you'll be paying, how much did you offer? Six and 10,000. Within four months, you get your money back. Do you understand me? So, it's not like I'll say don't assist people. No. Or you do it with your intact. Put on your thinking cap when you are doing it. Because that 5,000 naira, you could not pay back. And now give me another money that is above that 35,000 naira. That's where the problem is. So, is the 10,000 naira monthly acceptable to you? Yes, sir. It's okay by you. Mm -hmm. The way he's nodding his head. So that I won't change my mind. <laughs> I think you should thank him. Thank you. He's your friend. He just proved to you that he's still your friend. When you have people like this around you, you cherish them. Not many people have this kind of large hearts. You understand? George Fumi helps both parties to reach amicable settlement. After the break, George Fumi rules. So, well, I'll give you my judgments. Judgment for the plaintiff. The defendant is to pay the plaintiff the sum of 10,000 naira on monthly basis on this total sum of 185,000 naira is fully paid. The defendant is to start paying the plaintiff from the first week of August 2021. Judgment for the plaintiff. All right. Continuing, the plaintiffs, Michael and others, are suing Anthony for their unpaid salary. All rise. Court in session. Honorable Judge Fumi Asaolu presiding. Please be seated. 
Your Honor, this case is between Michael Odinkiri, Goodness, and others. Thank you. Uh, your Honor. The three of you are plaintiffs. Can you introduce yourself? Mm. What's your name? I'm Wally Onosna. I'm Michael Odinkemiri. And you are the defendants? Yeah. Now I have three of you making a case now to him. Yes. You are all demanding money from him. Yes. I work with uh, Mr. You have to speak out. I work with uh, Mr. Kechuku Ibeko for since 2000, uh, 2014. I couldn't pay me till I left his place. Who is the Kechuku Ibeko? That is the, the director of the company. Which company? This very company, the Mr. Tony is on. What's the name of your company? He plays oil and gas. What's your relationship with the company? I'm the general manager. You're the general manager of the company? I was. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. So, within a while, the man now shut down the company. For him to now give me my Which workmanship. Man? For Which him. man shut down the company? He shut down the company. No, the man himself. Who is the man himself? The chairman of the company? The, yes, the owner of the company? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And now send everybody away, say, let everybody go and rest. See, when they sell the vehicle, we now settle everyone. Since then, we couldn't hide from him. How long ago was that? Three years ago. How much is involved for you? Mm, How much say, are they owing you? You're, we are claiming they are owing you money. Yes, How much? 400,000. 400,000 naira. Is that correct? Yes. And good news, right? So, what's your own story? Same story. Same story. And how much is involved? And for you? My, what's the name again? I'm Michael. Michael. I, I started working with uh, Equis Oil and Gas for the year um, 2015. So, I worked for some months. I was paid. Later on, they start owing us. So, we asked them what the problem is. said the company was duped. It's that uh, we, hence we are staff, we should be working. That they will st later on they will pay us our money. We start working. You get to a time now we couldn't meet up to our our supply again. He said, okay, since we cannot meet up, that everybody should hold on. That uh, after he sold, uh, he said uh, the tr our trucks because we are having to. To try that he will settle us. Along uh, 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 when we are working, he still uh, pay off one secretary no, no. for about six months. They mm -hmm. paid him. We are, we are still working. We have not collect money yet. That was how till then nothing has been made. You know? And they've sold. Are you aware whether they have sold the? They sold the drugs. They've sold the drugs. Sold the drugs. And this is our manager. Company. You are their supervisor and manager. Yes. Okay, their immediate boss. Yes. And it's you they are suing? They are suing me and we are all employees. <laughs> they are supposed to sue the company. Do you understand me? Are you a shareholder? No. I'm just an employee. Like them too. Is it a business name or limited liability company? It's a limited liability. Limited liability yes. company. When you were employed, were you given Letter of engagement. Yes, yes. I, yes, all of them. The contract between you, is it between you and him or the company? He's the one that holds everything at hand. He's the owner? He's not the owner. You signed? Yes, sir. The it, contract you signed. Do you have a copy the, of the contract? Yes, I have a copy of mine. Maybe you'll be able to assist. Let me have And likewise, every one of them have their own copies too. Okay, sanitize them. I'm sure you were all given a letter like this. Did you collect something like this? 
Yes. That you signed. I yeah. signed, but I didn't collect. I'm not sure I collected, but I. But you signed. signed. Yes. This is I his thought. own that he signed to. All of you. You work for this company. Yes, ma'am. It's limited liability company. Let me explain to you. See, these limited liability companies, they have directors, they have shareholders who are the real owners of the company. All of you, they employed you. They are the one paying your salary. Do you understand? So if you have any case against this company, it's against the owners of the company. And to crown it right now, I think you said the company is not functional. Yes. So all of you, you are not working there again. Mm -hmm. Do you understand me? Are they owing you? Yes. They won't owe me more than them. Because you are, you are their boss, so your salary will be more than their own. No, even the months that have been owed is more than their. What do you say? The months that have been that they owe me is it's more, uh, more than, than their own months. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, if anything, all of you have to. It's supposed to be here too. <laughs> <laughs> and this company should be here. <laughs> it's at the wrong place. So you are suing the wrong person. Do you understand? Am I clear to you? I'm very human. The contract you have is with the people that employed you. And this same company that employed you is the same company that I employed him too. Only that they gave him a higher post. Do you understand? He's your boss. But still, he's a yes -a man to them. So, so ma, what can we now do, ma? You are but, supposed uh, to sue this company. Yeah, I was given a letter to to the director, which I took to him from this justice court. Okay. And this is a photocopy of it. That told the owners of the company you should go after, not him. This is the accurate one. So that is it. You understand? So I'm going, <laughs> you can't make out a case against him. No, we are not making it against him. No, you brought him to court. You are suing him. You mm. should be suing them too. All of you should be together. That's what I'm telling you. You should just come out here and stand there. Maybe you will understand that this place is empty. You are here to bring the person you ought to, to sue. He can't pay you. Do you understand? I understand. He's not supposed to pay you. It's the company that is supposed to pay you. And the same company is supposed to pay him too. It's just that, I don't know, he has not decided to sue the company. But ordinarily, if you want to sue the company, it feels the way you feel, he should be standing here with you. So you'll be four instead of three. <laughs> Do you understand? So my was the next? You are to sue the company. Company. The company itself. Anthony is the general manager and not a shareholder of the company. George Fumi advises the plaintiffs to sue the appropriate party. After the break, she strikes out this matter. So this case is hereby dismissed. All right. Hold on. Have you been cheated or have a dispute and want justice? Don't take laws into your hands. Log on to www.thejusticecourt.com and submit your case.